In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this B logo using Adobe Illustrator step by step. Let's get started. To get started with our logo, I'm going to choose the rectangle tool right over here. So I'm just going to click on that once. And instead of drawing this manually, what I'm going to do is click once on the artboard. And over here, we can determine the width and the height manually. So for the width, I'm going to put 220. And for the height, I'm going to put 200 pixels and click OK. Now you want to make sure that your fill color is black and that the stroke color is none. If it's not, the default is like this. So you can just click on the fill color and flip it with the stroke color then click on the stroke color and make the stroke none so that's how we want our shape to be the next step is to round the corners we want to round the corners so if we round the corners now it rounds all of the corners and that's not what i want to do so i'm going to do command or control z to undo and i'm going to choose a direct selection tool with the direct selection tool i'm going to choose the two right points upper and down point and i'm going to drag those in using the inner white circle which is for the rounded corners the next step is to start making duplicates of this shape that we have over here so to do that i'm going to use object path and i'm going to choose offset path over here in offset path we can choose a an offset how many uh, pixels we want our shape to offset and you can also see a preview of this so if we turn that on and off you can see what it does it just makes the shape the exact shape smaller by minus 14 pixels from all sides and directions so minus 14 looks good to me it's going to click ok now each copy of the shape i'm going to just randomly choose a different color so you can see i just changed the stroke that's not what i wanted to do so going to change the stroke back to none choose the foreground color and i'm going to select a random color now we're going to repeat this process a couple of times so let's do it again object path offset path minus 14 pixels okay and choose a random color object path offset path okay choose a random color object path offset path okay choose a random color and let's do it once again object path offset path okay and choose a random color so we're just choosing random colors just so we can see all the different layers over here and we can see the separation between them now the next step what i'm going to do is i'm going to separate this into different shapes so you can do this in a couple of ways the way i'm going to do it is just by selecting all of these layers and i'm going to jump over here to the tool that's called shape builder tool and i'm just going to click each time on one of these shapes that we've created and now you can see that it's built out of separate shapes i mean it created new shapes from the overlapping shapes i deleted the alternating ones so and i deleted the middle one then the one after that and the one after that and this is the initial shape that we're going to be using to continue our logo now over here i'm going to change this into black you can do it from here you can do it from the colors panel it doesn't matter the next step i want you to just make sure that in view you're on snap to point not snap to grid not snap to pixel so i'm gonna unselect the snap to pixel and now the next thing what we're going to do is i'm going to start drawing some lines going up from here which will create our b shape logo so to do that just gonna get a little bit closer so i can be more precise i'm going to select the rectangle tool and you can see that right now it's snapping which is exactly what we want and i'm going to snap to both sides and i'm just going to make this a lot longer perfect that looks good let's replicate it snap it to here 
and we can push this down let's do a duplicate now to duplicate what i'm doing i'm holding the alt and shift okay perfect now let's move this down perfect so we got our b shape let's close it on the top part so i'm just going to create another duplicate and i'm going to rotate this let's snap it and close our shape Perfect. So look what an awesome B shape, B logo we've created. Now that we have our B logo, I'm going to select the whole logo and jump into the Pathfinder. And over here, I'm just going to compound the shape just to create it into one shape. And now whenever you change the color, the color would change for the whole shape. The next part is adding some typography. So let's just make this a little bit smaller. And I'm going to add some text using the text over here. And you can just write any text you want. Make that a bit bigger. And play around with the typography. So to do that, we need to open the type or the character over here. And you can just start playing around with the different kinds of fonts that you have installed on your computer let's just go for something that looks good i think i'll just use this one for example purposes that looks awesome and that's about it so i hope you found this tutorial helpful and i'm going to see you in the next video